Amy and I are road tripping today. We're heading to the Blue Ridge Parkway. We've lived down here for 13 years, over 13 years actually, and we've never really traveled the Blue Ridge Parkway. We are going somewhere that if you went the highway, it's only two hours away, but it's gonna take us over four hours to get there. But I'm super excited in spite of cruddy, lousy, rainy weather. Tomorrow's actually supposed to be sunny and bright, so let's go do this road trip. Unfortunately, the spring colors aren't quite coming out on the Blue Ridge Parkway yet. Um, but we're staying at this really historic hotel, which is kind of nice. Do a little bit of shopping and if nothing else, just get away, have a little bit of fun. Driving back down the parkway tomorrow and I'm hoping for some shots. You never know. It's kind of a crapshoot because supposedly it's going to rain and like I said, the spring colors aren't really coming out. We'll just hope for the best, even though the conditions aren't perfect. Hopefully we can hit one or two pretty shots, stock shots maybe, we'll make the most of a little bit of travel. that's kind of neat about this hotel guys is they actually have keys to the room when was the last time you had a key to the room an actual key kind of savoring that that might be the last time I'll ever do that day two of our little road trip down the Blue Ridge Parkway and yesterday was very nice it was sunny we didn't do a lot of stopping we just kind of did a little bit of stopping but not too much today's plan is to drive back and stop more however it's supposed to start raining about three so we'll see how that goes we're staying at a place in Blowing Rock North Carolina called the Green Park Inn which is very nice very affordable and we just had breakfast um, nice room Nothing too fancy, but it's old. I think this place was built in 1891, they said, so it's kind of historic, and I enjoy that kind of thing. So we're going to do our best to take some nice photos on the way back today. We're going to do a little bit of shopping first and see some sights around here, and hopefully we can get a couple stock shots of the Blue Ridge Parkway. However, nothing's blooming, and we're a little off as far as that is concerned, but we'll make the most out of this little trip to get some stock photography and I will try to show you uh, where I'm at the best I can and uh, see if we can make a video out of this. So we have stopped at the original Mast General Store. If you've never been to a Mast General Store, you're missing out. They are awesome. And this one is super, super cool, as I'll show you here.
back on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're stopping at what I would think would normally be an amazing spot, but if you know, if you notice, I don't know if you can see it very well. I thought rain might be our issue. It has actually started snowing. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is actually snowing, and it's cold. Not bitterly cold, it's doable. But this really cool spot, I'm gonna hike out here and I'm gonna take a shot regardless. Might not be perfect because the weather's not great. And the lighting is flat, flat, flat. But I'm here, I'm gonna do it in spite of the snow. I don't have the perfect coat for it either, but it's all good. So yeah, we, we did have to turn back. They closed the Blue Ridge Parkway. It really wasn't all that icy or wet or snowy. I think they just do that out of preparation for the fact that it could get bad. But needless to say, we had to turn back. We had to get off the Blue Ridge Parkway, which became a complete nightmare as far as getting back because we had kind of gotten too far south of the highway exit. So we went through every little town coming through North Carolina and South Carolina to get home. But we made it home and it was a nice trip overall. Photographically, it was kind of, you know, I kind of think of it as a, one of those fishing trips that you go on that you don't really catch any fish. Maybe you catch a couple little ones, but you didn't have great success. That's how the photography was on this one. As far as the trip away with my wife, it was fantastic. I had a great time with her as always. Photographically, it just wasn't fabulous. But it reminds me of a story when I was a kid and we used to do family vacations, we were in California once, I think we were in San Francisco. And this was way back in the 80s before I probably even owned my own camera. I was using my dad's camera and we kind of took turns doing the photos on vacation. And I remember there were these break dancers. Remember the 80s when they put the cardboard boxes on the floor and they spun around and stuff? These two guys were out in the street in San Francisco doing some break dancing thing. And I thought, oh, that's really cool. I'm going to go take a picture. When I got over there, I got the camera set. I got it focused. I was ready to go. I was waiting for that perfect shot for these guys to do some great dance move. And they never really did it. And they stopped and it was over. And I never took a photograph. And I remember my dad saying to me, just take the photograph. You know, you miss the memory. You miss the moment because you were waiting for the perfect shot. You know, take at least one shot. Get the memory. And then maybe, you, you know, you get a perfect shot afterwards. I think about that a lot when I'm traveling because, you know, the lighting's not right. The, the weather isn't perfect. All the conditions don't fall perfectly into place how I would like them to. But I take the shot anyway to get the memory. And, you know, they may not be the best shots of all time. And they may not go in my portfolio. But at least I took the shot. So I thought about that uh, San Francisco trip once again the other day when I was on the Blue Ridge Parkway. But I will end this video, and if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll end this video with several photographs that I took. They're not horrible by any means, but they're certainly not stellar. But they're okay. So thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I will see you guys in the next video, and you guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.